Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode we're going to be solving a Physics 7B electric circuits practice problem. Uh, this is a problem of the Star Wars final exam. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe, it really helps. So this is the problem that we are going to be dealing with. It's basically a two-part problem because we have two very uh, two different circuits, A and B. And for both of them, we're giving the values of all of the resistors and also the battery. And for both of them separately, we have to figure out the equivalent resistance and then also the power dissipated by one of the resistors. So let's just go ahead and work this out. So as you can see, I have uh, you know the first um, circuit over here. I have the other one separately. Uh, so I'm just gonna be working with them separately because they are completely different circuits. So let's just go ahead and figure this one out first. So the first thing is I already have the values of all of the resistors. So finding the equivalent resistance is basically just the exercise of reducing this circuit. So um, again, whenever you're reducing a circuit, there might be more than one um, quote unquote correct way of doing it. So. If you're doing this in a different order, then you know have your mind that is that it might also be okay, if you, especially if you get the same answer. Uh, but the way in which I'm gonna do it is what really, you know, pops to mind when I look at this is that these two are clearly in parallel uh, since they have the same voltage drop across each of their terminals over here. So I'm just gonna combine these two first. So this is R1 and this is the battery. I'm not really changing that. But then this guy over here is the parallel combination of these two. Now let's remember that by definition, um, R parallel, well one over R par parallel is equal to one over R1 plus one over R2. So in this case, R parallel is equal to one over, um, R2 is two plus one over here, and then I have to flip my answer. So let's just go ahead and do that. Um, so this is three times three divided by two plus 1.2 ohms. And now I basically have to do this again because I need the, you know, the equivalent resistance. And now these two guys are clearly in series with each other because by definition series is uh, same current but different voltage drop. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So this is still the battery which is 10 volts. And adding resistors in series, let's just remember that it's really simple because I literally just add them up. So if this is 1.2 and this is 1, then this is 2.2 ohms. So the equivalent resistant is 2.2 ohms, final answer. And now I have to solve for part B, which is the uh, power that R2 is dissipating. Now, our equations for power across a resistor where um, we had three options. So it was delta V across the resistor times I, or also we could do I squared times R, or also delta V squared divided by R. So, Obviously, we can't just do this in one step because we don't have delta V across this resistor. Uh, we also don't have the current across this resistor, so we are going to have to uh, figure either the voltage or the current and then use either this one or this one. So the first thing that um, I'm going to try to figure out over here is the total current. This is going to be useful because this total current is the same current that crosses R1. So if I want to use my loop rule, then I'm definitely going to need this current. So by doing a loop over here, then my loop would be uh, 10 minus I total 
times 2.2 is equal to zero. So the total current that's uh, you know flowing here on the circuit is just 10 divided by 2.2. So the total current is 4.54 amps. Now this is where you know a lot of students might um, decide to just use this current and just put it over here, but this wouldn't be this wouldn't be right because um, this is not the current that is actually crossing this resistor. So this is uh, 4.54 amps, but whenever this 4.54 amps hits this junction over here some of it goes up and then some of it goes down. So if you're using this whole number over here, then that is not going to be okay because this is supposed to be just this little chunk of this current, not the entire current on the circuit. But obviously this is um, still useful information because we can use another loop over here and that is actually going to be very helpful. So the loop that I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, red. I'm going to start over here and I'm going to loop around like this and then I'm going to cross R2 because that's the one that I'm interested in and then I'm going to end over here. And this is the loop that I'm going to use. So I'm going to write it over here but it's the loop in red. So I start over here and I cross a battery and the battery is 10 volts. Then I'm crossing this resistor, so it's R1 times this current, so this is uh, 1 times 4.54. Oh, and this is negative because it's negative IR, I'm sorry. And then I hit this junction and then I, uh, I'm crossing this resistor, so this is negative whatever current this is times this resistor, which I know that it's equal to two, and this is equal to zero. So now I can solve for this current over here. Um, so if I solve for it, then this current is equal to 10 minus 4.54 divided by two. So the current is, um, 0 0.5 times 10 minus 4.54, 2.73 amps. And as you can see, well, obviously it makes sense. I, I was expecting something smaller than four. Uh, so 2.73 amps go this way. So I, if at any point I needed to find this thing, then I know that, um, just by subtracting them that 1.81 amps went uh, through the lower branch. I really don't need that information, but if I needed it, then I mean, just by continuity, the, the, these three guys have to add up. But now that I have this current, I can actually just go ahead and um, use this equation over here. So the power dissipated by resistor two is just the current that's actually crossing the resistor. So 2.73 uh, squared, times the value of the resistor, and this resistor is two ohms. Um, so the power dissipated by this resistor is equal to, let's see, 2.73 um, squared times two, 14.90 watts, final answer. So this basically solves the first part of our problem um, and now we actually have to move on because uh, we need to remember that this final exam question was actually two circuits. So now I basically solved this circuit and I have to move on to the next one. So this is the next circuit that um, R2D2 is working with and it's basically the exact same procedure. So first I have to find the equivalent resistance and then I have to figure out the power dissipated by R2. So let's just go ahead and do it in that order. This circuit, even though it might look a little bit more intimidating, is actually very, very easy to reduce because we can very clearly see that um, these three guys are in parallel 
they have the same voltage drop uh, and the current splits so they have same delta v different current this means that these three guys are um, actually in parallel with each other so i'm just going to use my parallel equation and i'm basically going to be done with this in one step so um, our parallel is equal to one over one plus one over two plus one over three take that um, do the inverse so let's just go ahead and do that zero point seventy five um is this correct let me double check Oh, I did one half two times. There we go. 0 0.54. So this is this is also our equivalent. So um ohm's final answer. There we go. So now the next thing that I have to do is um, figure out the power dissipated by this resistor. Now, uh, the first thing that I have to do, let's just remember our equations. So my three possibilities are delta V times I or delta V squared divided by R or I squared divided by R. Now in this case to me it is kind of like obvious that I definitely want to use this one over here because delta V I can pretty much uh, figure out immediately because I can basically make a loop like this and if I make a loop like this delta V just is going to be equal to epsilon over here because if I do the loop this way then I'm encountering the battery And then I'm encountering this delta V over here. And this has to be equal to zero because my loop is finished. So, uh, so delta V across a resistor is just, uh, you know, negative because I have a negative sign that shows up from taking it to the other side of the equation. So it's just negative 10 like this. Now, obviously, because this is a closed uh, system, if you want to go ahead and figure out the current and like what is the total current and then figure out how it splits or like if you want to if you want to work this out in like a different way, then I'm pretty sure that you're going to get the answer. And obviously, since there are three different ways of calculating this number, I would expect a lot of people to come up with a lot of different ways to figure this out. But I definitely think that the easiest way is just realizing that because this resistor is in parallel with the battery, that uh, delta B is just the value of the battery. So now that I have that, then the power across resistor two uh, would just be, uh, you know, negative 10 squared divided by R and R is equal to two. So this is a uh, hundred positive because it's squared divided by two. So this is equal to 50 watts, final answer. And there we go. So part two was definitely easier than part one just because everything was in parallel and that uh, even though parallel students tend to like less, sometimes it does make your life easier. Uh, so anyways, I hope that this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, please make sure to leave a like. Uh, it really helps promote our channel on YouTube. Uh, you know, we're, we're fighting that algorithm to get our channel started and I'll see you guys in the next video.